you have now shifted into the paradigm of empowerment, a place where your ultimate potential is unlocked. You are no longer constrained by your past, but emancipated by your future. This era requires you to step into your most vibrant self, where you come back stronger from difficulty, leaving behind your old limiting identity. Now that you're here, all that is required is that you open your heart and your mind and welcome in a new master plan for your life. It's time to accept that your true beauty, worth, and power all come from within, and no external force can take that away from you. Welcome to the evolution of self. I'm your host, Isabel Palacios, and this is the Taking Back Your Power podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Taking Back Your Power podcast. I'm your host, Isabel Palacios, and it is so good to be back. We are here live. If you are listening just through audio, we're actually now live on video as well. I am so excited. This is something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time, and I think that if you have been following me for a while, if you have been a fan of this podcast, you know I have always talked about coming into video and finally that dream has been made a reality coming to you live from my studio, which is surreal and I am just so ready for this new era of content that I'm going to be creating through this podcast. I started this podcast back in 2018 for those of you who are new and something has always driven me towards the podcast space. I've always had such a love for it because it was kind of always my place to just talk and just be open about so many different things and different topics. I could be more candid. I feel like back when I was doing this, it wasn't really a thing to have it on video. It was just basically audio. So being here to have it on video, I feel like it's just a whole new level. But I want to keep it that same way that I had it before. Make this a space in the podcasting world where you feel like you gain something from listening here, not just background noise, but something you can actually learn from, maybe learn more about yourself, learn more about life, just hearing not only from myself through my solo episodes, but also from people I interview, hear how they went through things, how they built things, how they got through difficult times in their life and how they took back their power that's where my focus remains in this podcast. Even though I have changed so much since I started, I became a mom. I've gone through spiritual awakenings. I've recently had an awakening towards Christ. And if you're more interested in that journey, I do share about that on my YouTube channel. And as I shared that, I realized how many people are actually in that same space and feeling the same things that they have felt this revival, going back to Christ or going or finding Christ. And that has been something so near and dear to my heart as of late. And I know there may be people who don't want to hear that and who are like, oh, I don't want to hear the religious stuff. I don't want to hear the God stuff. That's completely fine. I have come to a point in my life where for a long time, I hid that aspect of myself from my online life. I hid that aspect of fact, I was reading the Bible, I was going to church, that I was trying to seek God again because I did grow up Catholic. I felt such an emptiness in, in what I was doing that I felt this call back to God. And I'm not going to get into the whole journey here on this platform. Maybe I'll make another episode about it, but I do have a very long video on YouTube explaining it, which is why I'm not going into depth on that right now. But the reason I'm sharing it is because for a long time, I was hiding that. And as I was talking and preaching about living fearlessly and being real with yourself and living a life that is aligned with your true self, I realized I wasn't doing that. And I was actually afraid of what people thought of me because I grew up and I, I, I was raised Catholic, but I also had a very secular education and I was taught, you know, logic above all things, but I've always been a very spiritual person. And that's why I got into things like 
the new age law of attraction because I just loved learning about all these different traditions and religions. I love to learn. All of that learning kind of brought me back and all that seeking and all that looking for knowledge and self-development, it all brought me back to God, to Christ. I want you to feel that you can be your authentic self, that it's okay to change. It's okay to grow. It's okay to change your mind on things. I have been so vocal, especially listening to my last episodes about being real and being honest and talking about these things that, you know, may be uncomfortable for other people. I've realized within these past few years, I was living my life in a way that felt comfortable for other people. And something I've known is even Jesus had haters. I think we all know that. So if people are not aligned with what I say or don't like what I say or they hate what I say, it's okay. I'm not here for them. I'm here for the people who are going to gain something from listening to this podcast. I'm here for the people who feel good listening to this podcast. I'm here for the people who want to live their life authentically and take back their power. And for everyone, that's different. But what's crazy is that I have had so many people in my DMs and my comments telling me that they have had similar awakenings as I have. And I've always shared my journey, especially my spiritual journey with y'all. And I'm going to continue doing that, especially for those people who might feel lost, who might feel confused, who feel conflicted. Maybe they've dealt with religious oppression or religious abuse in the past. My prayers go out to you. I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that and also finding Christ and creating a relationship in their own way. I'm hoping that this podcast is a comfort for you and maybe something that will guide you. To be quite honest, I'm not going to just make this a Christian or Catholic podcast. Who knows? Maybe one day in the future, I'll have the space for that. So if you're like, Isabel, I'm sorry, this Christian talk isn't for me. This Bible talk isn't for me. I understand. It's fine. We outgrow things sometimes and just like relationships, sometimes they work out, sometimes they kind of fade away and they don't fit anymore, which is completely fine. I'm just letting my listeners know that my views have changed on many things, on many things I have talked about in the past, and I welcome that. I'm not meant to stay the same forever. I started that podcast at 23. I'm 30 years old now. I am not the same person. I'm in essence very much the same. I think I feel the same in so many ways, but the things that I view as truth are no longer the same. I welcome as I start this new journey in this podcast, I welcome all ideas, whoever you want to see on this podcast, whoever you want me to interview what topics, I welcome them with open arms because I made this podcast for you and I want this to be something that you enjoy. I think that there's a lot of noise out in the world nowadays. There's a lot of content, a lot of people with opinions and voices, and I hope to be at least a positive voice and a positive force in your life. And of course, I'm going to touch on topics that many people don't agree with, and that's okay. I'm not here to please everyone. It is impossible to please everyone, but the best thing I can do is be true to myself. Because as I've always said, when you are not aligned with your true self and you are living a life that separates you from your true self, the main thing that's going to happen is the separation is going to create a lot of of anxiety, depression, inner struggle, inner conflict. But when we come back home to ourselves and we allow ourselves to be real with ourselves and where we are right now in life, that's where the peace settles in. And I see that in my relationship with God is that the further away I've drifted from him and from prayer, I have felt anxiety. I felt out of control. I felt hopeless, worthless, so many different things. 
And yes, I'm human. I struggle with those things just as anyone else does. But I always go back to my spiritual life and nothing has filled my spiritual life more than my relationship with God. So that's why I'm going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it all the time, you know, but I'm going to talk about it freely. And there are going to be people who are upset about that. Like I said, I'm not here for that. And I listen to all types of people. I mean, when I listen to podcasts, myself, I'm an avid podcast listener. I listen to people I don't agree with. I listen to people who have different political beliefs than me, spiritual beliefs than me, whatever. And I like to listen to different people. I think that's always what I like to do. But I also listen to people who fill me up and who offer something, give value. So that's what I hope to do for you. Even if we don't see eye to eye, it's okay. I love you. (laughs) But all of this is to say that to take back your power, taking back your power is making the conscious decision to not let anyone, any external forces in the world, society, people around you, do not let them block you from being your greatest version. Do not let a relationship, do not let societal expectations, do not let your career, do not let anything block you from being your happiest, most fulfilled self. And I'm sure we've all dealt with that in the past. There have been people or things that have made us quiet or kind of keep us meek and keep us not even meek, just keep us from not being our big butterfly self, right? And I want you to live your life out of the cocoon. And as always, there are seasons where you feel like you have to kind of go within and be alone and introspective. I've been through many seasons like that. And every time I've honored those seasons and I've honored where I am, not worrying about what people are trying to tell me or tell me is good or bad, whatever, I honored that inner voice, the intuition I prayed about it mostly is when I would come out renewed, refreshed. I think that's a big reason why it took me so long to restart this podcast is because I needed to get to this place of feeling good about where I am mentally, spiritually, physically, all these things. I needed time in order for me to be able to pour into anybody else's cup. And believe me, I have tried to turn on this podcast many times and every single time it just didn't feel right. It did not feel right. And same thing with YouTube, same thing with, you know, being on social media, content creation, coaching as well. I've had to take a large break. And a lot of that was also because I was doing other things in my life. Like I said, we have to view our life as seasons. So I'm in my podcasting season or my podcasting era, whatever you want to call it. And I'm excited about what's to come. And I hope that you also feel excited for what's to come because this is for y'all. I do this for y'all. I have gotten so many requests to come back to the podcast space. A lot of people write me long messages and I read a lot of your messages. I read most of the messages that I can get to. Sometimes I read them way later than they were sent, but I read them and the heartfelt pouring out is everything to me. That's my motivation. The biggest place where we can make an impact, I believe, is within ourselves. Even though it's so easy to get pulled in different directions and basically feel like we have to solve all the world's problems. All that is doing is depleting you of the energy needed to work on what's important. And I always believe it starts from within. It starts with yourself. There is nothing wrong with taking breaks and working on yourself, taking breaks and focusing in on yourself and being the best version of you because you make up your family, your family makes up society, and we have to make sure that we are feeling good at home and we are feeling good within ourselves. And I think that's how we take our power back. We don't allow our precious energy and our precious focus to be hijacked by social media, to be hijacked by the media, politics, 
angry people fighting each other, none of that, right? We want to keep it focused on peace and keep a peaceful equilibrium in a peaceful state of mind because that is how we can better impact the world. That's what I believe anyways. You are more than welcome to have your own opinion. But that's why I created this podcast and that's why I continue to create content because I don't see that enough. I don't see that message enough. You are always going to deal with adversaries. You're always going to deal with outside threats. But if you don't know how to handle them and you let them take over your life and you let people take over your life, if you don't have power over your own life, you are never going to learn. You're never going to get stronger. And like this African proverb that I love says, if there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do you no harm. 100% believe in that. Because if you're not your own biggest supporter, your own best friend, just your own cheerleader, what are you going to do? If you don't have a strong fundamental foundation of yourself, of your life, of your values, then you're going to be like a leaf in the wind and be blown around and be easily manipulated, taken advantage of, and controlled. And you don't want that. You want to make sure that your nervous system is in check, that you're taking care of yourself, and that you know that you are important. And I feel like I have really bettered my life because of my relationship with God. I think God has just given me this force, this motivation, this confidence that I didn't have before. It's insane to think of, you know, because you think that changing physical things about yourself or doing deep inner work and healing and obviously those things are all beautiful and they're all beneficial, right? Going to therapy. But honestly, when I just handed my life over to God and I said, God, guide me. I'm not going to lean on my own understanding anymore. It's just like the game changed for me in confidence and happiness and energy. I feel so energized. Not all the time because obviously I'm a woman and I'm cyclical and I have my days of the month, right? And I'm not always completely energized, but I just feel like my will to live is so much more. Obviously my daughter helped in that. Having my family is just, you know, really important, but this will, this drive from God, it's, it's unlike any other. So I highly recommend creating a relationship with God if you haven't already. And if that's something you want to hear more about, I do talk about it on my YouTube. I will probably make episodes about it here on Taking Back Your Power because I know there's a lot of you who are seeking and want to learn. And if I can offer a Christian, a Catholic perspective on those things from my journey, I absolutely will. So that is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I thought I would just do a quick intro episode for those of you who maybe haven't listened in a while, who don't know me maybe, and need a refresher if you used to listen, want to hear what my vision is for this podcast, but I'm going to have so many more episodes coming your way, solo episodes and interviews when the time comes and I'm excited. So if you guys have any recommendations on who you want to see on this podcast, who you want me to interview, please let me know. I would love to hear your suggestions leave them in the comments. Feel free to DM me as well. I'm excited for this new season. I'm excited for what's to come. I know that a lot of good things are in store and I'm just ready to get inspiring again. So thank you so much for tuning in. And above all, always remember this, my beautiful angels, no matter who you may be in this life, no matter what you may be going through or what you look like, always remember your true beauty your true worth, and your true power always come from within. Thank you so much and can't wait to join you again for another episode of Taking Back Your Power. Bye-bye.